Hey, what's up guys? It's Amaro94 again and yes, this is the third part of my work in progress of my Daban model, Sazabi. And yes, uh, as you can see, the whole upper part of his body is all done now for my uh, own personal preference and the looks of my uh, Sazabi. And as you can see, I added a lot of yellow there, so he looks a little uh, cyborg-ish uh, or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but I think uh, I'm just doing doing what I think that looks like uh, looks good for me. And I don't uh, really intend to uh, show this to you guys just to make you like this. I'm just uh, um, having uh, paint and uh, uh, basic basic uh, details for my own personal preference yet again so yeah um, there's stuff that I will still use for the lower uh, the rest of the uh, mobile suit or the model kit is of course the Gundam marker I'm gonna use another silver a lot of silver Gundam markers of course yellow then uh, red Maybe some Orkay markers again if ever I need them. And maybe I will try to uh, look at the manual again if ever I need it. Of course, eraser for removing the panel line. Some uh, tissue just in case uh, for the excess paint. And yeah, um, to, uh, to focus first uh, since the, the rest is the lower part. I'm gonna focus on to the whole crotch area. No, I mean uh, the whole uh, waist section, including the crotch area. But as you can see, before I will show you the result, I will show you first the uh, front skirts there, pretty plain. The side skirt uh, with the two tones of red. We will try and do something about that. And at the back, the very big ass. I mean, uh, the very big. Uh, back skirt there I'm gonna try and do something about that so yeah I'm gonna remove uh, I mean I'm gonna amputate the Saza B again to work on for the whole waist and I'm gonna show you the results after this so with my efforts done this is what the whole waist area looked like so uh, nothing too fancy I just added a little bit more yellow on to the front skirts, of course, panel lining, nothing too fancy here. Also onto the side skirts, yellow here, yellow to the side, and silver here. And for the back skirt, nothing too fancy also, just added more yellow, red in here, and red in here, yellow inside. And if you notice, I put the red Gundam marker for more tone, just for the heck of it. So I'm gonna show you the whole waist area and Sazabi's upper half uh, together. So this is what Sazabi looks like so far without the legs because I haven't worked onto the legs yet. But as you can see so far, the design that I decided to use kind of blends or uh, kind of improved in my own personal opinion. But if you don't like it, it's alright, I respect that. But so far into this third part of my work in progress, I think this is this would be the last part of my work in progress since I will be busy on Thursday, and but I will still try to upload a video or a fourth part of my work in progress if I can because I will be busy on Thursday and Friday, but I will be prepared prepared on Saturday to work on uh, the review of this. Beast, this master grade Sazabi, and I will also upload another video for today to make up for Thursday and Friday. So, uh, if you want more videos, you can look it up onto my channel. You can also look up my uh, work in progress also on Epion if you haven't seen it. I haven't tried to make a review on it because I'm gonna try to prepare uh, something special for that, maybe and watch out for the next video you can watch it after i upload this so that's it guys peace